In this video, I'm gonna show you the best 4K export settings in Premiere Pro 2025. Here inside Premiere Pro, the first thing I'm gonna do is create a 4K sequence by clicking and dragging my 4K clip onto this timeline. And for the sake of this tutorial, I'm gonna say that I'm already done editing this video and I'm now ready to export. So I can do this by clicking and dragging and highlighting all the clips that I want to export and then just pressing the forward slash button. And that's going to highlight that section. And then what we're gonna do is go up here to the export tab. The first thing we wanna do is make sure that we have media file toggled on here. And then here under file name, we're just going to name this whatever we want to name it. And then click right here and select the location that you want to save the file to. And then just click save. And then for preset, we're just gonna bypass this for now because it's going to change to custom here in just a sec. And for format, we want to select H.264. Then we wanna make sure that the video tab is toggled on so that way the video exports with your project and then drop down the video tab. And next thing we wanna do is make sure that this is actually gonna be exported as a 4K project. So in order to do that, let's just click match source and that should change it to 3840 by 2160. And then if you wanna change the frame rate because you wanna export it at a higher frame rate, all you have to do is just uncheck this box here and select the frame rate that you want to export the video at. I want it to be 23.976, so I'm gonna leave it at that. And then just recheck the box. And then for field order, just select progressive and then aspect should be set to square pixels 1.0. Then just select more and want to make sure that the box for render at maximum depth is checked as well as the box for use maximum render quality. And then scroll down here to your encoding settings and your encoding settings are really what's going to affect the speed at which your video exports. Now, ideally you want to select hardware encoding, but not everybody's going to have the option because it requires a higher level GPU. So if your GPU can't actually utilize hardware encoding, then just select software encoding. For profile, we want to change this to high. So just uncheck this box here and then select high. And then for level, we want to change this to 5.2. Then I'm gonna scroll down here to the bitrate settings and your bitrate settings are really going to affect how large or how small your file size is going to be. So you have a few options here. The first option that you have is CBR, which stands for constant bitrate. And what that means is that your bitrate is gonna remain constant throughout the entire export process. Next, you have VBR1 and VBR2 pass. And the difference between VBR1 pass and VBR2 pass is the number of passes that Premiere does whenever it's exporting your video and assessing those areas that require more bitrate. So for me, because I upload videos to YouTube, I like to select CBR and I'll typically select between 65 and 90. But the downside to this is that it's going to increase your file size significantly. So what you can do to save yourself a bunch of stress is just select VBR1 pass. This is kind of like my secret here and then change your target bitrate to 30 and that's going to drop that file size down a little bit and it's still going to export your video at a much higher quality. And also if you select VBR2 pass, you don't get the advantage of using hardware encoding if your GPU will allow for it. Then we we'll want to go down here to the audio tab and just make sure that that's toggled on. That way your audio exports with the video and then drop down that tab there. And then what we we'll want is the audio format to be set to AAC. Audio codec should be set to AAC. Sample rate should be set to 48,000 Hertz. Channel should be set to stereo. And for bitrate, change this to 320. Now, instead of having to go in and input these settings every time you export a video, to save yourself a ton of time, just go up here to these three dots and select save preset, and then go ahead and name this and then press okay. And then the next time you go to export your video, just click on this little drop down here and select your preset and then just click export. Now, if you wanna know how to export extremely high quality 1080p video, watch this video next and I'll see you in the next one.